Greetings, members, one and all of the Salivation Nation. We are here live, and I'm just waiting to make sure that is the, actually the case. With this new platform, it's kind of tough to tell. Here we go, Donald New Mexico's here, so he hopefully he can uh, see me here, and I'm looking here, and we go. All right, bear with me, very good. All right, nice, hello, good to see you guys. All right, very good. We have Vogus here, nice. And pull this stuff out here get back to where I can see things all right very good all right we got Chuck and Plata Joey's here we've got um, Donald in New Mexico all right we're alive folks all right nice and uh, so Wolverine is here I think let me see here no it says yes yeah, Silver Wolverine is here all right yes he is all right C Rod is here hello C Rod Good to see you, my friend. Rock and Rod is here too. All right, very good. So we're just going. Uh, we're going to wade down through the comments here. And we're going to get started on here. Hope everybody is ready for the weekend. It is Friday. Yes, indeed. Markets have uh, closed. Uh, good news in terms of uh, of uh, economic data. Undeniable, great news there for sure which is bad news for precious metals, but I posted a video about why it's good news. Yes, indeed, Silver Wolverine, exactly right. It's the, it's a Trump economy, and as I mentioned in my video, <clears throat> if, if I was running for president, I would, I would say uh, that it is the people's economy because government is just getting out of the way and letting the private sector do its thing. But we do give Trump the credit for uh, implementing those policies, which is crucial uh, for sure. Wonderful news, indeed. <clears throat> All right. Now, let's see here. Let's get down to the bottom of this thing here. Get here where we're at the... All right. We're getting closer here, folks. A little, a little bit behind here, but we're, we're getting there. <clears throat> let's see. Where are we at? Get my stuff ready to go here. All right. Anybody have any big plans for the weekend? Tell me your plans. Any intimate details of your plans for the weekend as I prepare to get this thing um, going here. I think we're near the bottom. We are very close. Okay, here we go. Um, now, this comment here I want to address about that. I posted a somewhat controversial video about uh, silver supply and that uh, it was grossly underestimated. They weren't taking into account some of the things that the Silver Institute had in the past. And uh, so it's, there's more silver out there than we thought. And uh, Paulo says, you mentioned in the past that silver can be mined from landfill sites if the price goes up. And we're starting to run out. Do you honestly think governments will ever allow a landfill to be mined? Well, sure they will. Uh, the, if, if it gets to the point where there's enough um, uh, demand for silver... Well, it'll be a, a, a gold mine of, of silver in there. Imagine the environmental damage caused. It will never happen. Uh, believe you me, the landfill itself is an environmental uh, disaster to, to many people. So going in there and, and rooting through the trash to pull out the electronics and stuff like that, if that stuff is in there, or if there, you know, a lot of that electronic stuff is recycled anyway. Um, so, you know, it's going to be a matter of, of, of getting, uh, some of that, some of that stuff out there and finding a way to do it. Um, uh, but you don't see a whole lot of electronics and landfills from what I understand. You might see some, but no matter what, if the amount of silver is at the price, if it gets high enough, uh, then it will be economically viable to do so. And as you mentioned here, plus the amount of silver and electronics, so minuscule, the silver will need to be above $150 an ounce. Well, that's right. And there's enough of it out there, and the fact that um, the price is low, um, is there's no need to even go there. But if it does get up to $150 an ounce, they will go there. Uh, I posted a video not long ago, well, actually it has been a while ago, about how they can actually uh, extract su uh, silver from sewage waste. That's right, they can actually filter out the silver from that. Emil, it's good to see you. Hello, Emil and Teresa Kamar. Good to see you. Bob the Monk is here. Native Stacker is here. Juan Ortiz is here. The Saint is here. Timothy Dragon is here. Hello. Terry79 is here. Brian is here. We need Barbara. I think I offended Barbara with my video today. Uh, yes, indeed. We'll see her comment. We'll address it. 
Yes, indeed. All right, let's see. Ron says, I just checked USGS, and it's true that 1.7 metric tons of silver is above ground. On the other hand, USGS said that silver will be exhausted by the year 2025. Well, the primary silver, there's probably primary silver mines, um, uh, and that's already starting to happen. But there's so much other mining happening where silver is a byproduct. But uh, it says uh, they showed a chart where silver is being used. 10% of silver is used in bars and rounds. 10% is used in coins. 40% silver in religious objects. 40% silver is in electronics. Yeah, that's the same chart I was looking at, Ron, uh, the, in that video. If you watch that video all the way through, Ron, you will see that same pie chart in, in the video there. Spectacular is here. Hello. All right. Very good. All right. Nice to see you. And we've got, oh, Pamela Rice is going to be live streaming soon. Very cool, Pamela. All right. Yes, good to see you. Let me see something here. I need to, I didn't know, does Pam have a channel? How was I not subscribed to Pamela Rice? I am now. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is, um. Okay, cool. All right, very good. So she'll be uh, streaming soon. Very good. All right. Let's see. Where are we at? Okay. Low blood pressure says, when is Texas going to be independent? We have a gold depository. Texas, Britain is going to temporarily suspend redeeming real gold for gold. Well, if any state uh, could logistically do it, it's uh, Texas because not only do they have their uh, gold depository, but they also have their own electric grid. So, um, yeah, but I don't think there is enough appetite for them to secede from the union yet. If silver is so abundant, why is it called, why is it out of all global specie? Sell, sell, your, sell your S silver eagle too late. Yes, actually, I've already sold the, I've traded it off, actually. But, uh I think you mean by global specie, why is it not in federal in, in banks around the world like stockpiles? Well, there's no more no reason to. And it takes up so much space. The price is so low, and there's really so much of it out there that really they don't they don't need uh they don't uh, they really don't need to to store it anymore because they can you can get it. You can mine it and get it. All right. All right, very good. Hello. All right, Barbara is here. Hello, Barbara Slurp on your honor. Very good. Mm. All right, and Van Wood is back. Hello, Van Wood. Good to see you. A good crowd in here tonight. We got 41 in here, 10 thumbs up, and 41 viewers. Mr. Personality, wheat isn't rare, but it is fairly priced, unlike silver. Um, well, that's uh, things can uh, people can agree to disagree on that, I guess. And I'm in the minority on where I think silver should be priced, but anyways, that's me. Stack and silver. I lost all my gold in a boating accident. Oh, and Epstein didn't kill himself. That's right. Exactly. All right. Very good. Okay. Where are we at? Okay. Apollo says, I bought a 35 gram necklace that cost me 150 pounds for me to, to ever sell it for scrap. Silver spot would have to be 180 per ounce. Do you honestly think silver is going to be up 50 pounds an ounce for people holding silver drawer will start selling? You're missing the point here. 80% People holding silver jewelry do look at the silver price and don't care. Uh, plus, jewelry is sentimental, but 50% of is artificial, full of guesses and estimates. Well, that's true. But the thing is, uh, there's a lot of jewelry that's passed down through generations. And um, people do overpay for jewelry. Um, but when they need to sell, they need to sell. And uh, that's, that's the exact same thing for gold jewelry, jewelry, too. My LCS especially gets a lot of jewelry that come in. Uh, a lot of it popping in. Uh, let's see here. All right. Hey, Belang P is here. Good to see you, Belang P. We're going to come. His comment is actually next here. So I'm glad he's here. Um, uh, Sal, the 1.6 metric tons he claims are above ground would be roughly 50 billion ounces. I took a look at the world mining stats dating back from the end of 2017 to the beginning of available records. And to find the total amount of silver mined in history is 50 billion ounces. Um, so we agree there. But where I disagree with him is about the one half to two thirds of the silver uh, has been used in non-recycled applications. Um, let me post this here. I won't forget. 
Um, I think above ground stocks are currently somewhere in the neighborhood of 20 to 30 billion ounces. This is not a, a trifling amount to be sure, but I think this gentleman overestimates the size of the stock. The Silver Institute probably understates the above ground stock because they don't look at identifiable stocks such as that is run deposit with bullion banks. They neglect the silver. I don't know how much silver are with bullion banks. Probably not. Well, when you mean bullion banks, you're talking about like um, and what the U.S. Mint has to produce their bullion. I, that, that makes sense. They neglect the silver that is out there hoarded for monetary purposes. Personally, I don't think that a large above ground stocks is a drawback. I will say this in response to this last sentence of Elaine P is the the uh, the neglect of silver that is hoarded for monetary purposes. Well, they they've covered that in the above ground stocks uh, that are in bullion banks. So there, the Silver Institute is uh, understands the above ground stock because they look at identifiable stocks such as that are in the bullion banks. That bullion comes to us. They are not going to be knocking on our doors asking us how much silver and gold we have. Um, let's see. Let's 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 confirm that though. Let's confirm that from the scammer. Hello. Thank you for choosing Marriott Hotels. All right. We would like to inform you that your confirmation number was drawn and you are entitled to receive a complimentary stay. Oh, great. For further details, press zero now. Okay. If you do wish so we're going to you are currently caller number 14, oh. waiting to speak with a representative. Thank you for your patience. Oh, this would be fun to play guitar to. Paul, don't go, Paul. You are currently caller number six, waiting to Oh, speak six. So we're going to be talking to him Thank really you soon. For your patience. We're going to ask him about what they think supplies. Hello? Oh, crap. They hung up on me. Dang it. Anyways, all right. So, uh, yeah. So this stuff by uh, Bullion Banks, uh, they're not going to be interviewing us. Uh, the neglect of silver hoarder for monetary purposes. Personally, I don't think there's a large above ground stocks as a drawback. Quite the opposite. It's existence that people hoard it uh, for its store of value properly. That's right. This is what gives silver its monetary character. I agree with that too. Mon money has the property that marginal utility is nearly constant. In other words, for someone who holds a thousand ounces of the next 10 is worth to them the same as it is for someone who already holds 10,000 ounces. In other words, silver is a mere commodity and then there will be a finite demand for it, but if it is money, the demand is infinite. It's a beautiful thing. That's right. And Belang P correctly recognizes silver as money. And right now it's dormant money, um, um, as um, small gold says, but it is indeed money just as gold is money. Uh, but it is a, it is a quite something. It does have that um, marginal, a constant marginal utility. And that is because it is a constant store of value, whereas the dollar is what is fluctuating uh, in value. In fact, by target, the dollar loses 2% each year by on purpose. You know, that's what the target is for the Federal Reserve, 2% per year inflation. So good post there. Thanks, Blank P. Appreciate that. Uh, truck and prepper, we should all we should make all public doorknobs handles out of that abundance of silver, reduce health care costs during cold and flu season. Exactly. That's right. Very right. That's right. That would be fun. And make no mistake, just because there's more silver out there than we thought does not mean that uh, silver is is like not a precious metal by any stretch. Um, and it is much rarer than copper, for instance, and steel and, and the like. David Simmons, I've recently decided to, ba to balance my stack with gold. 1% uh, of my stack's weight will be gold, in my opinion. That's almost 50-50 through in dollars. None of this matters once people lose faith in the dollar. Both gold and silver value are based on investment demand alone. 7 billion people try to squeeze inside two shoe boxes. Yes. All right. Yeah, imagine if everybody wanted it. All right. Uh, Kalonic Stacker, whose hair is more powerful, guitarist Andreas Kisser or Sepultura or crab walking bassist Robert Trujillo? Robert Trujillo, because of his ethnicity, Robert Trujillo has amazing long hair anyway, and it's thick, and he braids it, but because he's Mexican, those Mexicans have great hair follicles. Um, Andreas Kisser is Brazilian, but he's probably of European descent, has cool hair too, 
but it's not as good. So it's going to be the crab walking basis. Let's ask the scammer, though. Uh, thank you, Belang P. I appreciate that, my friend. Check out Belang P. Hello? Hello? It's going to hang up. Robocall. Come on, Robocall. Yep, there it goes and hangs up. So anyways, yes, thank you so much. Um, uh, Blange P. also says, A large above-ground stockpile of gold is evidence that people use it as a store value. That's exactly right. Central banks are holding it um, around the world. And uh, and they are um, you know accumulating it actually now in, in as much as they have, if not more so, than uh, for literally well over a decade. Well over a decade and, and then some. Pretty crazy. Mm. All right. Very good. Thank you, guys. All right, let's see here. Uh, both, uh, none of it matters. A size, lose faith in dollar. Both gold and silver's value will be based on investment alone. Yes, indeed. All right. Uh, David Riddle. The big boys have most of the silver, but we are left with the scraps. Yes, indeed. That's why it's always good. You know what? I mean, it's uh, every little bit you you accumulate empowers yourself for sure. Yeah, Belang P for Fed Chair. Exactly right. There you go. I'm with you on that one for sure. Ozzy Alchemist says, come on, Ozzy. Come on, dream on. Let's repatriate our 80 tons from the BOE ASAP. Stop the crash ban. Repeal the flag act. All right. Very good. So he wants to get that gold back to Australia. It'd be nice. Uh, all right, say very good. <laughs> Blank P's first act as Fed chair would be to dissolve the Fed. Would you dissolve it in Aqua Regia? Blank P. That's the, uh, there's your, um, but of course, as you know, with Aqua Regia, it dissolves gold into a form that can be reconstituted. As I posted a video about that as well, and Blank P being the chemist that he is, probably is probably familiar with the story uh, from the, uh, uh, I think there was a, Nobel Peace Prize that was melted, that was dissolved and the reconstituted. Yes, indeed. Mm. Paulo, silver is more rare than all money printed in derivatives, all inflated markets, and we don't need and are worth crap and never ending supply. Just get recycled over and over at no cost. People just tend to forget what gives something value and rarity. But good report paid for a good report paid by a banker. Uh, good point. It is more rare. It is definitely more rare than the currency, than the money, and the derivatives out there for sure. All right, I might dissolve them in nitric acid. There you go. <laughs> All right. All right. Silver Honda. Is Silver Honda here? Silver Honda is here somewhere? Yes, he is Silver Honda. He drives a blue Honda. He is here. Slurp for Silver Honda and a slurp for Barbara. Hmm. All right. All right. Uh, William Lanucci says it's not true. But I think it is. I mean, you know, but that's okay. It doesn't take away from silver's uh, properties and it's uh, and what it is. It just helps understand it because silver sells itself. And so many people were, in fact, some people will say that silver is uh, on a one-to-one, -one, should be at a one-to-one -one ratio with gold. And it's just, that's not, it's not right. It's not, that's not true. Uh, seems like a low percentage have gotten lost if now 50% goes into industry and a little of it can be recovered. Well, it's not that it can't. It's just not cost effective. It's just not cost effective to be recovered. Uh, but uh, one day it could be. Silver Steeler says, I can see it happening to more and more countries. It took the governments that are becoming like us stackers. If you don't hold it, you know the rest. Thanks, Sal. This is on on Slovakia repatriating, wanting to repatriate their gold. All right. All right, all right. The Lang P's going to be slurping on some wine later. Very good. That'll be nice, relaxing. Larry W. Hello, Larry W. Good to see you. Delicious silver and gold. That's juggernaut. Mm. Buffalo Bullion is here. Good to see Buffalo Bullion. Cloxy also says, already more than a billion ounces in American Eagles have been mined, I believe. None were ever smelted due to lack of eco economic necessity, not point. And the bullion market has always been larger uh, than AMs. Than American, or I don't know what AMs means, but thank you, Kaloxi. Very informed on Sal. Thank you, Carl. By the way, this article does not mean that I am anti-silver. I'm just trying to be realistic about it. Uh, let's see here. 
And uh, Lord Humongous says, I just went through, went for a walk this morning and people were tossing a thousand ounce bars in the garbage. Uh, what's in your shekels? Yeah. Yeah. Not that, not that popular. It's not that, uh, it's not that uh, abundant. Stacking Stormtrooper, congrats on hitting 25K. Sal, pretty buddy. As for 20 times higher, I wonder if these reports will maybe drive the price of silver down a little bit. Yeah, I don't know. Well, we shall see. And thanks on the congrats on 25K. I appreciate that. The leaders of Poland and Slovakia obviously watched Salivate Metal on YouTube. There you go, Carl. Hey, thanks, my friend. It'd be nice if they did. It'd be cool. Hello, Jason Bone. Cloxy says, sell your high premium silver while you can get why at low spot valuation. Turn them into lower premium stuff, higher quantity. Perhaps a mix of uh, nine, nine rounds to cover medical use and slightly higher. Limited editions and midterm flipping. So that's one strategy some people take. All right. That's right. Spectacular has got it right. I'm anti-silver. Get me. That's right. Exactly. Some people think I am, but I'm not. Hello, Cheryl Lay. Good to see you. And we got Cyber Curtain Twitcher here who still has a pulse. Yes, good to see you. Dar Stacker says, which channel am I watching? I thought it was this was Silver Slayer. That's right. We do not slay silver here. We will not slay it. AJS says that's a bunch of above, above ground, but not enough for everybody. For everyone should demand increase exponentially in the events of its remonetization. Yeah, can you imagine? Remonetizing silver or using it as currency again. You know, I, I put that the perspective of potentially creating like a five dollar coin um, made of silver, you know, something, you know, that would kind of uh, be uh, something we could put in there into the uh, into circulation out there it would be pretty cool. Yeah, I think it'd be bring some excitement to it. Hello, Kuna Coins, good to see you. All right, and on this again, exactly what they never talk about much is getting discarded cell phones, solar panels, mirrors, medical supplies, equipment. Half of all industrial silver is electronics equipment, 50.8% most likely all electronics. They get discarded landfills, and that number is getting much higher. Definitely with solar panels and solar energy. Don't get me wrong. I believe there's a high number above ground, but a lot of it is getting used in the market. Yeah, and we discussed that in this video. Um and I also posted a video called The Lie About Silver Supply. And uh, so, you know, it's there's 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 a lot being used. But I would I don't know how much of it is actually getting thrown into landfills. But let's say it, it, there is a lot being thrown in landfills because there's a lot of those electronics that uh, that also get separated out and um, um, and recycled anyway. But and how is that is that being tracked you know how much silver is already being recycled in some ways the easy the low picking stuff we don't hear about that i'd be very curious to know um but notwithstanding solar panels you you put a solar panel it can last 40 years you put it on a roof that's silver that's not going to be put in the market again um anytime soon anyway but even as such there's you know there's still a lot of other silver out there um, and I don't believe it's enough to offset some of these numbers, at least in the short term. And as solar panels become more efficient and better, there'll be less silver needed for those panels. Losing Louis says, I don't think this information is meaningful and that the vast majority of silver jewelry will never be melted down. Unlike gold, the intrinsic value of silver in a piece of silver jewelry is a very small part of the value of the piece. Yes, I do see your point, losing Louie, and that does make sense. My LCS, just from a, um, uh, just from a anecdotal viewpoint, uh, my LCS has seen some silver jewelry come back, and uh, but yeah, a lot of it is really not melted down. But it, it it may be a while before you see it. It get passed along or sold or given as gifts or what have you. Uh, sooner or later, just like high premium coins. They get sold for spot, and silver can be uh, can be the same thing. And I've seen that happen where a silver ring will come in and like, oh, that thing's only worth you know, you know, two bucks. It's got two dollars worth of silver in it. You know, um, you know, they may have paid twenty three dollars for the for the ring, but they're gonna take it because they have a, they have it in with a bunch of other stuff too. Uh, let's see, the mountain is recycled. If you compare that to what the industry difference, you will give you the recover unrecoverable amount. Okay, yeah, all right, very cool. So Silver Institute and summaries do show, 
Yeah, there because a lot of silver is recycled. That recycled is from scrap, which would come in the form of easy pickings, like uh, silverware, uh, like uh, jewelry. What I'm talking about, Blaine P, is the um, is the stuff that's in cell phones and uh, and the low hanging fruit there. Uh, let's see here. Oh, AC says, screw it, I'm out. Come one week before election, I'm selling all of mine. Here we go, all right. I think he's kidding there. Kevin W. says, now read SRS Rocker report that was just released a few minutes ago, which shows charts and numbers that question this report. How is your confusing... How's that for confusing the gray matter? Well, the world keeps spinning on controversy. Ooh, uh, Kevin, I'd like to see that article. I'll have to check that out. Very good. Uh, let's see. Okay, all right, very good. So CCT kind of proves my point. He's bought Silver Jewelry a spot several times. In fact, I will also, you've reminded me, thank you, CCT. Uh, there was a guy on here who comes and goes and 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 comes and goes. I think that's the amount of times he's came and gone. Big Silver One, BSO, BSO One. He is famous for finding jewelry at spot or finding silver, making his own jewelry, selling it at a premium. Uh, but anyways, but anyways, all right. But yeah, so that's the kind of case here, all right? Uh, Blaine P says, in 2018, 151 million ounces um, was scrap. Industrial fabrication was 579. So about two-thirds of the fabricated amount is unrecovered. Okay, all right. Very good, or at least that we know of. Uh, that's right, very good. All right, thank you for those numbers. Very good. Cool. Mm. All right, let's see. And given and keep in mind, a lot of that stuff that's in electronics, it's just not economically viable to recover it yet because silver is so cheap. All right. Vogus says, thanks for the article. I have to sell my gold sometime before October 2020. I didn't get this notification and many others, but I uh, went to my settings and made it changed. Hopefully it gets fixed. I will let you know. Thank you. Yeah, the notifications are kind of wonky. I, there was a video I posted um, about the largest gold nuggets found in, in the United Kingdom. That video, hardly no one got, hardly got any notification of that video. Hardly anybody saw it. Talking Bullion. Hello, my friend. Talking Bullion is here. Good to see you. All right. Splash, smash that like button. Spectacular still with us here. I didn't just, that was my chair, Terry. I can probably do it again. Let me see. Here, listen. I need to put oil on my chair so it doesn't fart. It was not me, I promise. I don't want to embarrass myself. Steve Garrard says, is this the same news writer who wrote about the asteroid that was made out of gold and everyone's going to be a billionaire still waiting for them to catch the asteroid in another fake news article? We had a paper, paper currency collapse and bam, a news article comes out the, uh, the right beforehand. I don't believe they, I don't believe, I don't believe, won't believe it. Keep on stacking until my pay. And I'm not saying not to keep stacking, um, Steve. Um, and I don't, no, this is not fake news. I think this is a realistic, um, you know, there may be some things. Obviously, they can't get all the numbers, as Blaine P said. Um, but I believe there's stuff that the Silver Institute isn't capturing, um, you know, because of what's in there. However, I will say this, that... Uh, you know, that doesn't mean that uh, I'm anti-silver or anything like that and that we shouldn't keep stacking. I think we should. Yes, indeed. I want to buy it all, says Kuna Coins. Yes, I hear you. All right, there you go. Mr. Popzilla says hello on this video. Thank you so much, my friend. Move on up. Uh, MMA matchup, vocalist John Bush versus... Um, Low energy governor Jeb Bush. Ooh, man, man, I tell you what, that's a tough one. Um, because I don't really know where John has been lately. Is he back with Armored Saiyan again? But he's kind of been out of the loop for a while, but I'm going to have to go with John Bush. Yes, indeed. Because uh, Jeb Bush is just too low energy for my liking. Too low energy. We would have had him elected. We'd be more of the same. The swamp would have just gotten bigger. 
wouldn't have gotten bigger. Ken Penn says, there's nothing the last time I sold silver, the market dropped 72%, and that was just 20% of my silver holding. If I sell it, it would push the price back to $4. All right. All right. Crazy, crazy. All right, let's see. Jeff Coney says, I agree on no shortage of silver as long as uh, mines make 1 billion ounces, no shortage is possible. If, however, the number of ounces decreases, a silver shortage can happen. The Silver Institute is not counting sterling and constitutional silver. Actually, I think they are because that's recyclable stuff, uh, if I'm not mistaken, from what they were saying. But anyways, thanks, Jeff. Okay. Okay, take care, Blaine P. Good to see you. Have a good night, my friend. Hmm. All right, I'm going to have a little cookie. I do have a little cookie, a little chipper. A little chipper here. going to have it. Mm. Mm. Chewing this up here. All right. America Silver Patriot. Hello, my friend. Thank you so much, my friend, for that $2 super chat. Good to see you. We're here partying a little bit, having some cookies, having some coffee, and chatting amongst us some of these chat chat people are not listening to me they're chatting amongst themselves as if i'm not even here i know that's okay that's most of the uh, power of these live streams is actually you guys interaction with each other uh, but good to see Ophi matrix hello Ophi matrix good to see you my friend and medium man is here and donald new mexico is still here with us which is great news a great bearded one is here First it slurps, now we have cellophane crinkles. Cellophane, there you go, exactly, yes indeed. Silver bean counter, oh man, let's see a mega spot drop. Come on, Salas Hell, I need me some more $14 silver. Well, we're getting there. Today, it took a pretty big hit. Your voice reminded me of Sesame Street. Wow, mana, mana. Oh, nice, well thank you, silver bean counter. I'll take that as a compliment. Countries really need to hold it, that's right. Silver Wolverine is here, and he says, so far the U.S. Mint has only sold 27,000 and 50,000 Liberty Medals. Wow, okay. So they're pretty, uh, these Liberty Medals, these silver 2.5 ounce medals have not done very well. MMA matchup, Bikini Edition, Scarlett Johansson versus Tulsi Gabbard. Cast your votes. I'm going with Scarlett Johansson. I forget what she looks like. Tulsi Gabbard's okay, but... Um, my guess is probably Scarlett Johansson or Johansson, whatever her name is, is probably better. But maybe, I don't know, Tulsi, maybe. It's a Tulsa up. It's a Tulsi up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Press one if you don't listen to Sal. Terry is not listening to me. Dissident uh, aggressors here representing Central California. Going back to Cali. Good to see you. All right. Thank you, Dissident Aggressor. Appreciate you being here. Silver Honda, love your channel, Sal, but 1851, sorry I couldn't do it. Not even a slurp. Oh, I don't know what, I, Silver Honda, are you still here? I don't know what you're referring to there. Uh, at 1851, I couldn't do it, not even a slurp. Hmm. Um, Scarlet, yes. Honda, yes. Prayers go out to this. Oh, yes, yes, indeed, that's right. Um, yes, a, an unfortunate event. Uh, an atrocity today with a shooting in Pensacola. Um, and there was also one in um, uh, recently, last couple of days, out at Pearl Harbor, too. Apparently, today's shooting in Pensacola was done by a Saudi military um, person. Yeah, crazy. I just don't, I don't understand it. People are sick, you know, but yes, prayers definitely go out to them. One BD, for you tell, do you believe gold is rare? Yes, I do. If the mining ratio of gold is 8 to 1, then silver is 8 times less rare than gold. Actually, it's about 19 to 15, 9 to 15 to 1. Additionally, the above ground stockpiles of gold is around 6 billion ounces. The above ground stockpiles of silver is between 1 and 2 billion ounces. Silver is 3 times more rare than gold. Above ground stock. And I don't. That's those numbers are not right. I have to stop you right there because those are those are not right. I've covered those numbers. I don't have the. Don't remember. Watch 
that video, watch that video to get the answer to your question. Um, but, uh, <clears throat> yeah, but the thing is, is, uh, I don't know, because you know, the, the above ground stocks, you're probably assuming that all of it's just disappearing from being used and in, in the other stuff, but it's just not the case. But thank you for your comment. But watch that video again. The numbers are in there. Like 93 says coin collecting fun. Thank you. All right. Mr. Octopus is here. Tolut Alaman. Tulaman. That's a Megadeth song. Cool. Lamar says, of course there's too much silver out there. That's why the price is where it's at and the gold to silver ratio is so high. Even though there's a lot of uses for it, there's still a lot of being discovered and hoarded. But silver is much more valuable than paper or electronic digits. Exactly right. Well said, Lamar. Well said. <clears throat> All right. Antonio Gorglioni. Baloney, what you doing, Salivate? The story is fabricated 100%. Silver is $500 an ounce metal right now. People don't sell an ounce at these BS prices. They are trying to shake you out and keep you sidelined. Go buy the chosen cryptocurrency. Uh, HSB is $20 billion spent into cryptos. Dollars phasing out. Silver will go wild. Ask Bill Clinton what he was doing at Ripple Swell event recently. Huh, I didn't know what Bill Clinton... I don't know what Bill Clinton's doing. It'd be interesting to see. I don't, did not know. I'll have to look that up. Thank you. Uh, let's see here. Oh, what did I get Terry for Christmas? Good vibes. Same thing she got me last year. Hmm. Let's see here. Mark Norgard, this why silver will never see $20. Well, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. Uh, wow, selling Liberty Metals SP70s for $700? Wow, that is crazy. That's insane. Maybe there's not many at 70. I wonder what the populations are on those. Have a good night. Uh, kiss the new nurse in the storage room. Keep your feet in the stars. Keep your feet on your silver. Keep stacking your gold. There you go, Silver Honda. Thank you so much for being here. Have a good night. So what are you going to get me, Terry79? What are you going to get me for Christmas this year? Yeah, Chris, Bill Clinton is busy doing little boys and girls, exactly. And still gold price won't rise. So it's, all right, very good. Full Push Metal says, like, another slurp. Well, worthy report, Sal. Interesting, very interesting. Drive the price down info. Let's go. Keep pushing. Seriously, go, baby, go. Yes, indeed. All right, thank you. With the debt clock increasingly exponentially, why do you think um, all metals are significantly low? Well, because the economy is doing well. Um, uh, the, the, the economy is, um, is, and the dollar index is up. And when that happens, people forget about debt. Sadly, sadly, and I say that in all sincerity, the debt is removed from the economic situation. We have the luxury of being in debt and staying in debt in this country. And uh, I don't know how, how we can do it, but apparently we can, and we can probably do it for quite some time. Many of us thought we were going to pay the piper on that several years ago. I thought for sure we would by now, uh, but it hadn't happened. Anyways, Antonio, silver over abundant. Don't buy too much above ground. Load up, people. Going, going back home because dollar Ponzi is over. Don't buy the silvers everywhere, bull. Factoid silver, strategic asset, more, more important than gold. Uh, well, there is a way you can use silver to... Um, invest and especially in the paper markets because of its volatility but no gold is much more stable much more rare and uh, if you want to protect yourself as the ultimate hedge get gold buy silver as a hedge too um even with its abundance buy silver as a hedge as well but i think that every silver stacker should have some gold i really do yeah full push metals is a great channel good guy too all right, Bob Often, hello, good to see you. How many viewers we got now? 71, 34 thumbs up. Appreciate you guys. Uh, ripple, Ripple, okay, okay, very good. 
Bob often says, life is a lemon and I want my money back. Meatloaf. There you go. That's right. Yes, indeed. Good one. Good one. Let's slurp some coffee for Barbara. Jeff Kone says, it is what happens when you own other people's gold and they call it for it and you decide not to give it back. Yes. All right. Thank you. I-D-I-M-I. -I -I, Idimi. Either way, I think 100% ROI with silver to 32 ounce, $32 an ounce is not crazy. If I get 100% return on thousands of ounces, I'm still a happy camper. Because a thousand, I'm still a happy camper. Well, that's true. You're exactly right. And it does have the potential to go up that high again. All right. 991 PCGS 70s of the 2600 sent in. Okay, wow. What about NGCs? There's probably a lot more of those in NGCs, is my guess. Probably a lot more. NGC is a very liberal when it comes to grading, seems like. XRP backed by gold. We are going crypto. Okay, interesting. I didn't know that. I think that's the future is um, yeah, for gold and silver to be uh, relevant in the digital age, they probably will back cryptocurrencies out there. In fact, there's a lot of them that are wanting ICOs for it. Jumbo Shrimp, I've been bombing the comment section in all big silver videos about the rarity of junk U.S. coins in the last month. The PCGS article that I referenced from 99 saying there is less than 25% left. It's been available for years to see. Suddenly it's now gone. Coincidence. Look up how much junk silver is left. PCGS and link is blank below. 20 years later, another big melt in 2011. And probably only 185 million ounces left. It is the weak spot of the manipulators. Hmm, interesting. Okay. All right, Donald New Mexico says on this one, Hey, Sal, I would want my gold back. Do you want the gold you have in a safety deposit box back? Yes, indeed. I'd like to have my gold. I don't have gold in a safety deposit box. All right. Yes, I, I hope so, too. Silver Wolverine, for your sake. I hope they're liberal, too. We got Cliff 2DK here. Good to see Cliff. That does it. I'm selling. No, don't sell. Robert Moroz, Morales, don't sell your silver. Don't sell your silver. That's not why the article was there. It's to balance out the people who say that silver is just, is, is, um, who go way the other direction. You know what I'm saying? Silver Watcher, if governments are calling it uh, in for real physical gold, we the people should as well. Now, this is saying, um, this saying is closer than ever, in my opinion. If you don't hold it, you don't own it. Last depression, America found out the hard way. This time we have no excuse for not being prepared in one man's humble opinion. I agree. In fact, they would never have me turn in my gold. If there was ever an executive order in that, that would never happen. All right. Silver Valley Coins and Bullion, we don't need to worry about the supply side, in my opinion. It's the demand side that's the biggest problem. Silver has no recognition as reserve metal, and the majority of people don't see its value as a long-term investment. Even in the Islamic world where silver is seen as money, it really hasn't taken off. And we're talking about some seriously cashed-up countries. That's right. Good point. Good point's great. For sure. Thank you, sir. Seduced by silver, it has been a long time. Good to see you, though. We're glad you're here. A slurp in your honor. Hope you're doing well. Yes, indeed. So honored to have Seduced by Silver here. Stephen Ray says, I wonder if the racist thing involved anti-Semitism. Uh, not sure exactly to what you refer there, but yes, thank you, Stephen Ray. Not sure. Faradizo says, Psycho Voice. Um, let's see here. Far, far Dizo is a PSYCO name. Let's see if we can add a little bit of, see what he's got going on over here. No content, of course. Troll, don't you feel stupid now? Uh, stupid, look at that. Don't you feel stupid now? Um, isn't that funny? 
because he's because I traded. So apparently the uh, the coin has gone up in value is what he's referring to here. Um, uh, let's see here. At least I know how to spell stupid. That makes me smarter than you. That makes me just a tad more intelligent than you. Make sure I spelled intelligent right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let's see here. Silver Magnolia, my goal is to own enough silver that it registers on the pie chart that you have shown. Oh, well, there you go. Wow. He wants to get a lot of silver, and that's fine. Hey, get silver. Get, go get him. Go get the silver. All right. Very good. Yes, indeed. And now, by the way, none of this is telling me that people should stop buying silver by any, by any um, stretch. Hmm. Okay, Chad Lichtenstein, supply and demand are just a distraction. Fact is, central banks must have a certain amount of Tier 1 assets for the cash they print in compliance with the IMF. International settlements protects the world now for any cash by default because it requires central banks to hold a 6% ratio of gold for every certain currency amount they print. Um, so basically, all currencies are backed by gold, then, basically what you're telling me here. So when banks fail, the gold will rise to the currency loss, and then everything is good again, indicating a world gold standard is already in motion. Simply researching this tells me a world gold standard is undoubtedly coming. Yeah, that's actually a good point. Very good point, Chad. I, I never really kind of thought about it that way because I didn't know it was a requirement from the uh, central banks. Three nines, good to see three nines. Fine, hello. All right, of course they do, to be in compliance with international settlements. All right. Coin World. Uh, useful video. I subscribed to you. Remember, subscribe my channel. Thanks. I collect all coins. Of course, you know, this is just a sub for sub thing. Guy doesn't care about my channel. <clears throat> Let's see here. Master Dust says Eagle. Well, thank you. I don't know why... He would put eagle there. I'm so there's only one logical response to that. All right. According to the Fed, says Bcam, okay. Um, as of November 6th, there is 1.74 trillion of Federal Reserve notes in circulation. 1.74 trillion divided by blah 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 ounces of silver is 34 dollars and eight cents per ounce. Let the gold out there count towards the approximate 22.29 in remaining debt. Uh, well, interesting. That's um, that's the notes. That's the notes, uh, not the dollars. So in other words, the a uh, hundred dollar bill is counted as one, and a and a five dollar bill is counted as one. So if you take in the amount of dollars represented, it's actually about a thousand and forty six dollars an ounce. But but uh, to your point, I see your point there. And I gotta prepare for something else because we're gonna make a call in a moment, folks. Yes, indeed, I told this person to be available at a specific time uh, so that we can have a discussion with him. But I'm gonna eat another cookie first. All right. Really scary that there are more and more countries want their gold back. It feels like something bad will happen in the future. Yeah, it it does it does seem like there's something going on there. It makes you wonder if something's coming. Don't tell Chris Wayne he went all in on silver, so he has said, "Yeah, I know exactly." Oh, I won't tell him. Okay, all right, thank. You. Okay, all right, now we go. All right, now uh, CCT has subbed my channel. So check out his video. So I will do that because Cyber Curtain Twitcher is a good friend of mine. And so that is a one sub for sub that I will do. And I will take him to Subway. Yes, indeed. Metallic Miner. Silver can increase faster than the world debt. That's a fact. That's true. <clears throat> that's exactly right. And that's probably a point I should have made in the video. 
for sure. I'm going to check out CCT's video. Yes, check him out. Check, everybody should check out CCT's video. Everybody should subscribe. Doctor Who should subscribe to Cyber Curtain Twitcher. Native Stacker should as well. Mr. Octopus should. All right, Ninja Stacking. Thanks so much, man. Just got a gold back today. Ninja Stacking did. Thanks for that super check. Please do tell. You got a gold back today. Uh, let's see here. Why don't I watch Cyber's videos? I, I should be watching them right now. I should just say, screw you guys. Holy fook. I need to go watch Cyber Curtain Twitcher's video. All right. Gold back. Please explain. Now we're all uh, curious. Donna New Mexico says, Hi, Sal. I have personally put out over a 1,000 ounces back in the ground. Can you dig that? Yes, I'll be right over, uh, Donald. I'm, I'm on my way, heading down I-40 right now. Going to take a turn to the north, and I'll be there with a shovel in hand. We'll dig it all out. That's right. That's what she said. All right. And give uh, and also subscribe to Seduced by Silver while you're at it. She's a great, 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 great uh, lady here in the community. Yes, indeed. Seduced by Silver. All right. Poland is a great nation, no joke. Yes, indeed. Yes, it is a good, it is a great nation. I agree. Silver Limey says up and down like a yo yo bud. That's right. Yo, 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 yo. What's up? All right, I wonder if Chris Dwayne will cover this article. I don't think he will. He's one of those who believes that silver should be one-to-one -one with gold. Uh, let's see. It's Harold Hunter. The price reflects many holdings. Uh, not many holding and wanting silver at present. The focus is on trade, impeachment, Nancy Pelosi's mental health issue, and football. Silver's all out like popcorn. Nobody is hungry sitting watching a movie or a game. Throw a bag of butter, a popcorn, in the microwave. Give the scent time to move in the living room. Then you will likely lose your popcorn to a mob. Just like the 80s, no one looked at silver till the boom. Same story. It won't do anything. And, uh, and don't eat, move on, or anything like that. It's a panic FOMO as hell. That's right. You're exactly right. You make a good point there, Harold. Very good point. Uh, doesn't really matter about the supply so much as the demand. And uh, when you see the dollar and things move back, and that's just it. Silver does what it does. That's why it's more volatile. They see an opportunity. Ninja stacking has not opened it yet. Literally just got in the mail still in the envelope. I may do a video on the gold back and talk a little bit about it. It's a cool concept. Is this the one that uh, Utah was doing, ninja stacking? Because uh, I thought about getting that. I thought about getting that thing. Um, yes, indeed. Somebody else did a video on that. I need to, I need to check that out, but I'll look for your video. In due course, let's see here. All right, uh, roughly 56.5 billion ounces. Wow, yeah. Crazy, crazy. Yes, indeed. Mm. Okay. Eddie's Little Stack says, This is my formal request that I, Eddie's, once all the gold back from the Salvation Nation, we'll take delivery ASAP. All right, very good. Hey, man, yeah, I don't got your gold. It's free. I know. I want to check it out. I'm gonna. I'm gonna put in something for that. I'd like to get the other denominations too. Uh, I'm wondering how much Russia is licking its lips, watching all the loot moving into weaker countries that happen to be closer to them. I sure hope they don't see the need to protect their borders, as they say. Yes, indeed. Well, they've already taken Crimea over. Without shot being, well, there was shots fired, but you get my point. Bill Rundle says, silver is cheap because it's price manipulated. Our new silver is being consumed and supplies are diminishing. 100 years ago, one ounce silver would have purchased a, fans, a, a fine man's suit of clothes worth today $500. Um, eh, not necessarily, Bill. I think you're, you're wrong there. You're referring to gold. Uh, a $20 gold piece in the late 1800s, early 1900s, uh, let's say gold's $1,300, $1,400 would have bought a fine man suit of clothes worth about $1,400. And that's not the case even back then with silver. Um, you could probably buy a cheap, cheap suit back then. But the other thing is that if you watch the video, I do talk about it. I do talk about manipulation. It's manipulated, but it's, there's no amount of manipulation that could... That could uh, bring the price down to what some people think the price should be. Um, manipulation plays a part 
but it's a minor part, very minor part. Uh, the the price of silver is basically the natural markets taking place. It's just not an exciting market right now, um, which is good for those of us who want to accumulate it. Um, you have to create an account when you purchase gold. They they hold it free like a bank, and you can withdraw with gold backs. I think okay, very good. Because it'd be kind of cool to have the whole set just as a collection ninja. You know what I mean? For every 100 ounce contracts of silver, only one ounce exists. Silver will make a move in price that will shock the world. Silver is being consumed at record amounts. It is being consumed, but um, uh, and it's being more diversely uh, um, consumed. In other words, it's, there's more diversity in the uses for silver now than ever before, and it's not being recycled. However, that does not necessarily mean that... Um, that's gonna the price is just gonna just explode because of that. All right. Max Hedrum says price discovery won't happen until the bogus paper market implodes. They will sell unlimited daily SLV shares that are backed by nothing yet use the paper to dictate the price. It's rigged for a reason. If there is the abundance, they wouldn't waste time rigging it. I'll call BS on twenty times. Well. I think even the um, um, debt clock re re references the the uh, amount of paper to physical, and obviously there's a lot of it, like 200 to 1 or something like that. But the thing is, is it'll never be tested because when people buy SLV shares, they do it for convenience. Hence, they never test it. In other words, if you buy 100 SLV shares, and let's say, I don't even know because my ignorance on it, but if one share equals one ounce and you cash out a hundred of them, you're going to get the money. You're going to get the silver spot price. That's in other words, a hundred ounces. So 1700 bucks, you know, you get 1700 bucks. Then you can buy your silver with it or use that money. It's not tested. Um, and it'll never be tested. People will cash it out. Let's say everybody cashed out. Um, they'll just get money for it. You know what I mean? The silver sits there just so they can say it's backed by something. I don't even know it's required that it does. I don't know. It's something to look into. I'd be curious to do some more research into that because people talk about it all the time um, about the paper market. But thank you, Max. Appreciate that. E. Massia says, it's too bad any found gold belongs to the queen. Yes. Well, it's, any, it's only any found gold of this nature, the historic value. Lord Humongous is here. Hello. Uh, Uncle Sal, six years ago. All right, very good. Mark B is referencing an older video that I posted as I slurped some coffee. All right. Okay, let's see. Max says, I go to many pawn shops and there's always a lot of gold jewelry and a depreciating amount of silver jewelry, always 10 times more gold. All right. Uh, yes, that's right. Well, and it's more lucrative. You know, gold jewelry, they can make a lot more money on. You can have much higher premiums on that. Good video, Uncle Sal, says Mark B, on the almost 70 ounces of gold bullion. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Mark B went back in time on some of these videos. Very cool. Juggernaut says, I need at least one of those 1,740 ton tons of silver or 1.7 tons of silver. Yeah, there you go. Nothing wrong with it. In fact, I encourage people to stack silver. No question about it. Um, it's just be realistic about what you've got. In other words, don't think it's going to go to the moon um, or it's going to explode or that you're, you know, I mean, it's going to fluctuate. It's going to be, it's, that's just, that's the nature of the beast these days. You don't ever want to overpromise or even underpromise when you're turning this to silver. Kurt says it's dropped uh, 30 cents. This is the video I posted today. Thank you, Kurt. All right, Silver Limey. It can only be a good thing to buy more. I'm only seeing lower highs at the moment, extremely bearish. Platinum looks to be the only one consolidating at the moment. Yes, I think you're right because it didn't drop that by that much, really. It's crazy. Bobby Two Poops, hello, good to see you. And Vogus is here. Vogus, hello, my friend. Thank you for being here. 
143 Drew, uh, no, none here are even probing Sal to look beyond paper, silver value, and his endless proclamation that silver is always there. Recoverable, never lost, and prolific. Uh, let's see here. Uh, what's the probe? I believe that. I believe that stuff. If anybody wants to buy silver, all they got to do is hop on over to, well, anywhere. Anywhere online that sells you can go to Amazon. I wouldn't suggest doing that. You can go to eBay. I wouldn't suggest doing that in some cases. But you can go to Silvertown. You can go to Bold Precious Metals. You can go to Monarch Precious Metals. You can do. You can go anywhere and buy silver. Um, yes, indeed. And that's okay. That's a good thing. Just order some more uh, gold and more silver. Keep stacking. Eventually, it will move up, 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 and up. There you go. That's right. Buy it when it's low, if you can afford to do it. And I've mentioned that in this video. Steve says it can drop, but the premium will be higher. Silver drops to $1, there might be a $19 premium. That Steve makes a very good point, actually. It does seem like the lower silver goes. I mean, like, like take, for instance, uh, the percentage-wise, especially on Eagles, Eagles sell at $2 straight from the Mint. So when the Mint sells to one of the authorized distributors, which I think there's anywhere between 12 and 15 authorized distributors, they're paying 2 bucks per ounce. So if silver goes down to $5 an ounce, well, they're still charging $2. The percentage on the premium goes up. I think Steve's having an exaggerated portion here, but essentially those premiums won't go up because of the cost of production and the profit margins and the like. So that's a very good point, Steve. Speeding 108 is here. Hello. Good to see you. Excellent says, listen well. Yes, thank you. And Silver Lime says, the job surprise, the job data surprised the market today. Yes, most most weren't expecting these uh, these job numbers to be that good. In fact, I was remember reading an article, and I think I'm even posted in a video, that they weren't expecting as good job numbers. So we were, everybody was prepared for it. So it surprised everybody. Uh, Paulo says, from what I hear, 60% of silver is an industrial metal, so it should be going up. This proves that silver is a safe haven metal. That's right. Well, it's about 50%, a little less than 50%, Paulo. And, um, but the demand for it as an industrial metal is something to be considered. If the economy does well, there's more manufacturing, which means more silver is going to be needed, which means that can potentially cause the prices to go up in a good economy. It's a good point. Uh, let's see here. For you, the probe, 24K gold, not like cheap plastic like Hunter Biden used. <laughs> okay. All right. Mark B. Sal, I want the 2015 Wedge-Tailed Eagle, but I can't find it. I got to have it after watching your video back in 2015. Oh, I love that coin. That's one of my, that's one of my favorite uh, coins. Uh, one of them. Oh, it's a great coin. In fact, I want the platinum version of that. There is a platinum version and there's a gold version too. I want both, but they're still very, uh, very high, very high dollar. I think I'm just going to stop everything and invest in silver, as Donald New Mexico said. That's what I need to do. Just invest in silver. Invest, invest, invest. I invested in that slurp for Barbara's satisfaction, because she can get satisfaction. Yes, indeed, she can get some satisfaction and she tries and she cries and she wise and she's lies no she doesn't lie i'm kidding uh let's see here uh <clears throat> let's see okay max hedrum says gold silver is an investment and we all f factually know its price is criminally manipulated when paper fails well that's just it i mean there's manipulation in everything, but I don't think gold and silver are much different than any other commodity out there. Kevin W., I too had to leave. Uh, Slater's third video of my head is still hurting. Oh, I, I hear you. I hear you. He puts them out quite of in a row, like really quickly, too. Yes, indeed. All right. But welcome here, Kevin W. I appreciate you being here. And by the way, I will note for Kevin W.'s sake, um, as I think I told him before there, um, is that I believe if you're a creator, you should pay attention to your audience. Um, you're doing a disservice to not respond to comments or show appreciation uh, more than just saying thanks for watching this video or what have you. To me, that's what it's about. Um, now, obviously, some people uh, can get away with not doing that and still grow their channels and do well. 
Um, um, and I don't see how it can happen. I don't think that's fair, but it does. But I, and, and, and even as such, I believe that uh, no matter what, the motivation, I just think it's good. It's good to appreciate your audience, you know. Um, uh, let's see here. But just know if you're here, I'm going to be appreciating you, even if we have disagreements. And we have disagreements. And by the way, um, you know, there's opinions that I express that both sides disagree with on. And I welcome the, as long as it's relatively respect, uh, relatively uh, uh, respectable, respectful in their agreements anyways. Uh, very good. I right, Thanks, Kevin W. Appreciate it. Yes, pay attention to us, Sal, says Barbara. Yes, I do. All right. Max Hedrum says, old investment tip I heard, buy low, sell high. Remember, the two times silver hit $50. What is cheaper today than it was in the 80s? Silver, that's right. But that was just one little spike, one little spike. Well, thanks, Native Stacker. Appreciate you, my friend. All is one now says, we appreciate you for appreciating us. Well, I appreciate that, all is one now. I appreciate that. All right. I appreciate your appreciation of my appreciation of you. All right. Joey says, NFP comes out, silver spot drops to 16.57. My reaction, oh, poopy. Oh, my goodness. That's right, Joey. All right. Dewey Ramundo, the drop was a sweet 2.4% gain on my gold miners portfolio. Sold covered calls last uh, gold high on my shares. You can't beat making money when PMs go up or go down. Keep stacking. I will also say there was a guy named Carl Ushanka who wrote this book, Trade the Ratio, where you can use the, the, uh, the, silver, uh, the papers, silver markets, the ETFs, and gold and trade on the ratio. So you can make money no matter what the ratio does. All right, very good. Full name is here. Did you see Texas oil spike before SP500 went up? Oh, interesting. I break, oh, how am I breaking your heart, Barbara? Here's a slurp to unbreak your heart. I'm gonna mend the, uh, mend the broken heart here. All right, let's see here. Chris Garner's here. Chuck and Plata is here. Go to two mile. I like that. Go to two mile. Chuck and Plata, welcome, my friend. Sorry if I missed some of you guys in here. I apologize. Um, Coins A to Z is here. Hello, Coins A to Z. Good to see you. Sal, I would agree with you, but when we both would be... I would agree with you, but then we both would be wrong. <laughs> that's, oh, my gosh. That's funny. That's funny. Oh, my gosh. <clears throat> that's here. Silver Beer Nuts, salivate. If you're happy, so am I. Cheers, bro. Well, thank you, Silver Beer Nuts. I think he's new here, so I appreciate that. Metal Virus, when metal prices sink, you can bet AI is hard at work. Yeah. I, I mean, that's another manipulative thing. I know, I, you know, there's some of that. But anyway, Silver Pirate is here. Arr, hello. By the way, we miss Karis Raven, who I haven't seen her in a while. Silver Wolverine, CAG, 2020, I think metals will continue to go down. No recession unless Trump loses. 2020 is my bet. I don't know that I would go that far, Silver Wolverine. A lot can happen uh, in the next couple of months or six months. Um, and keep in mind, too, and I should have mentioned this in the video, that these numbers are typically revised after the fact. Now, they can be revised upwards or they can be revised downwards. That's why we really won't know uh, that we're in a recession until we until we uh, see these numbers start to take a turn downwards and the numbers get revised because a recession is defined by three uh, three different quarters of um, uh, GDP below zero percent. And of course, obviously, there's other factors too. Unemployment is going to employment numbers are going to take a hit too. All right, Karis is active on Instagram. We're often in here. All right. Thank you, CCT. Calvin Cooper. Well, I purchased five more ASCs today. Cool. And that's good. You got it. You're getting, you're getting in when the getting's good, when the price goes down. Congratulations. All right. 21st. Silver's back on sale. That's exactly right. This is a case where silver is on sale and, um, and it's a good time to buy. Doesn't mean it can't get lower. But uh, it's probably less likely to go lower than higher, I believe, unless the trade deal is signed. And like Donald New Mexico, I do agree with Donald New Mexico on this. 
phase one trade deal. I don't believe any of the hype until it actually gets signed. And because we heard so, oh, so much of different things there, it's crazy. So for Wolverine, I think CNN post that story to try and pump their sociopath base to vote. I I think it hurt them a lot. I think they were really cringing writing that article, but they, that could be very well be the case. That very well could be the motivation. I wouldn't be surprised if that was a motivation. All right, Barbara Carbone, her reaction to this. I knew I'd get uh, not a good reaction from her. You should rename the video How Much I Love Trump Regardless of His Impeachable Acts. Well, I don't see this as a Trump um, loving post. In fact, I mean, I even mentioned that, uh, you know, though Trump takes all the credit, you know, really it's the free market that gets the credit. It's the people that, as I said in the video, um, and, but I don't believe there are any impeachable acts. In fact, neither did the witnesses, neither did any of the professors that were um, interviewed at the impeachment hearing in the judicial uh, Judiciary Committee. None of them said there were any impeachable acts. Um, and by the way, none of the, none of the, um, no treason, no bribery, none of that. Um, it's a total sham, this impeachment thing, but that's another story. Um, Numbers are a continuation from Obama who single-handedly saved the country from collapse. Ooh, that's a bold statement. Barbara, come on now. I think you've been you've been watching too much PMSNBC, I think, Barbara. And and I did discuss that, by the way. I looked at it. The Obama recovery was the most stagnant recovery. And that doesn't mean there wasn't a recovery, but I believe, as I mentioned in the video, that the free market system was... was uh, at work doing what it does in spite of the regulations. And the stimulus obviously did did do something. It, it provided like a cheap injection of, uh, of money there that was obviously being used. But when, if, you, if you look at the, uh, uh, if you look at where, like what happened with the, the 2009 uh, uh, American recovery and uh, what was it, the act that was the, that he put in towards roads, bridges and the thing, it was a, uh, Economic Recovery Act, and that didn't turn out so well. Cars for Clunkers failed. Um, uh, all of the um, Solyndra failed. Uh, there was a lot of things. There was a lot of, of injections. There was a lot of things put in the economy. They tried everything. Cutting interest rates. They've done everything. And what happened? The economy puttered along, as I showed in that one graph with GDP numbers, and that was just from 2015. There was times when it was hovering right on the edge of another recession. Um, so no matter what Obama throwed at it, increasing taxes, taxing the rich, um, all of these different things, the Federal Reserve, the, the Keynesian policies, it puttered along. What would have been a much greater recovery had uh, there not been that uh, um, um, some of that injection of stuff like that, or if you would have lowered taxes. What happens when Trump gets in there? He lowers taxes, gets rid of regulations. And what happens, Barbara? The economy continues. In fact, it grows even faster. So no matter what you might you may think of Obama, and even if we even if we take everything that you uh, have said there about Obama single-handedly saving the country, then why is the exact opposite thing that Trump is doing from what Obama did? having an even greater positive impact on the economy. Think about that one. But anyways, but thank you, Barbara. I always appreciate your thoughts, and you're always welcome to share them there. I, I like the, um, I like the uh, back and forth. I like to hear the other side. It helps me to think and um, see the other side. Let's see here. Vogus, more volatility is coming. Yes, indeed. All right, let's see here. Uh, okay, just following. Okay, have a good night, CCT. Thank you so much for being here, Cyber Curtain Twitcher. Thank you so much, my friend. Have a good night. 143 Druid, the exact same financial injections are occurring right now. Actually, no, they're not. That's blatantly wrong. Um, there's there's different. There's this. There's the uh, there's the repos that are still happening. In fact, I read about another repo today, but that's not that's a drop in the bucket compared to the quantitative easing. Um, and it doesn't mean we're entering depression. I mean, all the other economic indicators are exactly the opposite. Let's see here. Let's see. Very good. All right. 
might be Goliath, 41K jobs where GM workers were turning back to work from a strike. I will take advantage of the dip. Yes, that's right. They were exactly right. In fact, uh, I think that was mentioned in one of the other articles that I saw that there was some of the uh, GM workers uh, returning uh, from a strike. It's doing good. All right. Stacky Nerd says the positive jobs report and the huge housing starts. That's another thing, too. Housing is up. That's a big indicator of a good economy. Uh, it should help put people at ease for the time being, especially with the doom and gloom that has been reported recently. That's exactly right. And that's just it. I've never been a doom and gloomer. Um, and uh, I don't think it's healthy to um, to be subject to that because... And I think a lot of times, a lot of people in this community feel that they have to be think that a huge depression is coming or else they don't think they are justified in accumulating precious metals. But this is why I think it's good to see gold and silver drop when the economy is doing well. We, we want the economy to do well. Hello, D. Peterson. Good to see you. All right. Good to see you. Thanks so much for popping in. Hillbilly prepping. Come to my channel. Come to my channel. I'll do a, an impersonation of you. All right. Well, hey. Um, you keep. All right. I'll see about. I think he's posted one other time before, and he's got something up here. So I'll, uh, I'll subscribe because he's made a couple of comments. But I don't like to do the uh, the sub for sub thing because typically you do that, and people never come back. All right, I think Barbara has secretly hundreds of pictures of Trump all around her bedroom walls. I think so too, CCT. I think she's a. I think she's got the whole. Um, um, I think she might just have the Apprentice seasons on uh, on DVD, the whole series. All right, let's see here. One four three Drew and indicators like seasonal job proclamation, which will be adjusted after we forget and swallow the next little BS indicators one day late and dollar. Short every time. Well, I've talked about that. In fact, I even showed the seasonal job proclamation. I even showed the worst case scenario of that. That's the U6, uh, U6 numbers. If you watch that video all the way through, 143 Druid, and by the way, 143 Druid, watch it with ads, without your ad blocker, please. <laughs> um, and uh, you watch it to that level. I talk about that. And as I mentioned before, some of these numbers can be adjusted after the fact. All right, let's see here. All right, where are we at? Okay, hello, Precious Metals Updates. Precious Metals Update, thank you so much for, by the way, uh, for sending me that uh, link. I've got you in a video coming tomorrow. He's lurking while working, but he will be uh, mentioned in my video tomorrow. Yes, indeed. All right. Hmm. All right, hillbilly prepping, gold and silver will do. Uh, we'll go do a lot more. Wait, wait, wait. I'm waiting to 15 and change before I indulge. All right, so he's going to wait for it to go down a little bit more. All right. Well, 143, uh, Druid, when you turn off your ad blocker on my channel, uh, you're basically, uh, yeah, you're not supporting channels. I will, take a, I will take a super chat donation, 143, Druid, or... Uh, uh, even better, a PayPal donation. How about that? All right. I'm just teasing you. I know there's people that don't use ads. There's some people, I think there was one person that mentioned they've got um, YouTube TV or YouTube Red or whatever it is. And that takes away all ads. And uh, it still supports the channels. But the ads are what help support the, support the, uh, the work that I do. But 143 Druid doesn't care about that. Uh, Lord Humongous says, gold and silver don't lose value until you sell them. Yes, that's right. Well, and the thing is, it's the perception of value and what it is is uh, is 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 the something that needs to be a, sort of a paradigm shift of way of thinking, which is why I think it should be held long term. Uh, less indeed. That's why you hold it long term and think of it in the mindset of a. There you go. Oh, yeah, it was Cliff that said YouTube Red. That was Cliff that has that. There you go. All is one hour is YouTube Premium. So whenever, whenever viewers that have YouTube Premium or YouTube Red or whatever, um, those people can watch ad free, 
and that still supports the channels without actually having to donate or whatever or anything like that. And so that's why I don't that's why I don't use an ad blocker. That's one that's one of the reasons why I don't use an ad blocker so I can uh, watch the ads or click on the ads of other channels to help them out. That's probably the, one of the better ways to support. Um, <clears throat> but anyways, but thank you guys. Uh, and Donald, thank you. Terry watches the ads. She's Terry said that she uh, watched a video of mine the other day and watched through all the ads. It was just lovely. Thank you, Terry. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Where are we at? Okay. Buy, 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 says WTH Coins with Silver. Hey, when the prices go down, if you can afford to do it, it is a good time to buy. All right. Let's see here. Gold Maple says it's a good thing because Salivate can buy more silver and gold. It's good for all stackers and collectors to buy gold and silver. Exactly right. Uh, all right. Alan Gold, breaking news. Your last video sent me into a rage. Just the same. As every video before. That reminds me, speaking of rage, we need to call up this scammer. So we're going to be calling Alan Gold right now. Let's call Alan Gold. Thank you, Terry, for the sacrifice. She did it for me. It was pure hell, but it was sacrifice. All right, let's get this guy a call. I'm supposed to be Travis, by the way. And this guy's call. His name is John Martin. Come on, John. Come on, John. John, John, John. Truck and Prepper says, really good. Already hype on gold 2019. One half ounce eagle, key date, second lowest minage. Wow, that's, that's right. I think uh, Silver Wolverine talked about that. Quarter ounce, third lowest minage. Price is going up on a half ounce already. Wow. Has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Five, one, six, three, we'll zero. I'll call him back later, but that's not good. That's not cool. I told him to be there and be available when to call. And he's not answering, that son of a biscuit. Okay, here is, uh, we're now calling another dude. Let's see what this guy is. I don't know his name, but he's he's another one that's in here. Putting baby to sleep. We'll catch up later. Catch up another time. Ooh, he's putting baby to sleep. He texted me back, putting baby to sleep. Charles Benick. Chris Benick. Chris Benick. Come on, Chris. Come on, Chris. We're going to try to call him back. The voicemail box of yeah. 63193. Yeah. No. Back. I'm texting him back in a few minutes. He's going to put his baby to bed. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back in a bed. All right. That's his baby in a bed. He's putting his baby to bed. Should have his wife do that. That's what they're for. Man shouldn't put a baby to bed. That's for women to do, not men. Don't don't they know their role? Come on. I'm just teasing. I'm just teasing everybody. I forgive you. Alan Gold made me say that, by the way. That blatantly misogynistic thing. Chuck and Plot to the powers that be told Silver, bend over and spread your cheeks. You need a m bit of attitude adjustment. Lowest prices now in weeks. I'm salt and buy injury at Joe Lewis double punch. I'm hungry for higher prices and my silver's out to lunch. Alan Gold has must have possessed Chuck and Plot to say such a thing. I'm saying, all right. Alan Gold is sending Sal a dump in a box for Christmas. Oh, my gosh. Son of a... Oh, my gosh. 
Juggernaut, silver and gold, no matter what they say. Yeah, get along, little doggies, get along. All right, uh, Juggernaut, I, I mean, uh, Clonic Stacker, do you think Carl Childers would be leading in the polls if he was running as a Democrat? I think he would be. Mm. I'm a tax plan a little better than Bernie. Mm -hmm. Every American deserves a uh, biscuit with mustard on it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give everybody a job down at Bill Cox's. Working on lawnmowers and tinkering around and whatnot. Mm. Terry's going to send me a turd-sized lump of coal. Mm. It's going to look like a piece of crap. My mic volume went down. Are you serious? Is it still there? Let me see here. I'm going to give everybody a job down at Bill Cox's. I think I was just speaking more quiet, but it's there. I, my impression is not very good tonight. Sluice it. There you go. Silver on sale, as someone said. Time to buy. IEM says, I suggest this interesting article. All right. All right. But send that to me by email, IEM, because I'm going to miss it here. Send that to me by email, if you don't mind. Salivantmetal at gmail.com. I only have six ounces of gold. That's why we want it to go down. All right. There you go. You can get more. Like slurp it up. Mmm. Mustard. Mmm. Soy sauce. There's a slurp. Where's Barbara? Where's Barbara? Mmm. Ah. We're paying attention. Because I'm buying, Galena says. But rhodium is going up. Exactly right. I talk about that in this video. I talked about rhodium going up. Mr. Bill Cox. Mm-hmm. I have a sluice made of gold, says all this one now. Milled steel, small gold does good impressions. Yes, he does. He does a small gold does a great Bernie Sanders impression impression for sure. <clears throat> good news, who made it up? All right. Food stand. Now listen to this. Listen to this. Alan Gold, listen to this. Better late than never for Chiefly Chief and good to see ya. Hopefully more people will start investing more money into purchasing gold and silver, which will hopefully Make these the prices go back up. Yes, indeed. There you go. You heard it right there. That wasn't just a sub mistress and everybody. He actually put a comment after it. Are you proud of him? I like them here taters, says Sean Banks. Mm-hmm. Copper's on the move. All right. I'm putting my baby to bed. There you go, Barbara. All right, Barbara, uh, who's your baby? I'm jealous now. We're going to call the other guy back. We gave him a few minutes now. Bang on, Sal. Bang on. Food stand must be a mess. Oh, my gosh. All right, let's see. We got any other. Let's see. We We're going to go ahead and call. We're going to try to call our guy back. We're going to call John Martin. Come on, John. Uh, one. Come on, John. Come on, John. 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 Long John. Travis. 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 Come on. It doesn't take that long to put the baby to bed. Baby should be in bed by now. Should have burped the baby, fed the baby, coddled the baby, unless the baby has colic. I'm gonna ask. The, I'm gonna text him and say, "Does your kid have colic?" Call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Okay. I'll give him a few more minutes. I'll give him a few more minutes. Kid must have colic. That's right. <laughs> colic, 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 colicula. Let's see. All right, let's get down here. Let's get down on it. Get down on it. Colonic Kagan, 2020. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what a uh, what a uh, ticket that would be, right? Where is my 
They had to drink a mix. Mix a drink, that's what the stream will do to a person. That's right. Okay, Matt Connell. Uh, let's try to call Matt Connell from this other loan scamming company. Hopefully, they're in California. If they're in California, they should answer. Let me see if it's in California. Yes, it is in California. So they should be open now. They should be open. It's not five yet. Oh, listen to that. Oh, there's the music. Do we pull the guitar out? Yes. are not going to answer, are they? <laughs> All right, let's see here. I think we got a text back from the guy putting his baby to bed. Let's see here. All right, it says, unfortunately, that's not going to work. Oh, I says, can only talk tonight. I'll call back in a few minutes. Let me uh, text him. I'm going to text him back. says, does the, I'll say, why does the baby have colic how do you spell colic let me call him again here we go all right here we go let's see here <laughs> Colonic Stacker still here. Here's there we go. Forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Five, one, six, three, zero. <laughs> Speed one away. You just cracked me up. You just cracked me up big time. <laughs> I can't control myself. Oh, ask him if the baby has colonic. That is hilarious. <laughs> there should be more sitar use in death metal. Yes, indeed. Mad Calic. Let me see here. All right. Please answer. Need to talk tonight gonna call him one more time come on he's not gonna have on hold music because this is a cell phone number all has been forwarded to an automated oh, voice messaging system five one six three zero five one one nine eight I'm going to ask him, is the baby, <laughs> is the baby Chucky, if it is the baby Chucky, yeah, yeah, maybe so. I'm asking him, is, is, is the baby in bed yet? Is the baby in, in bed yet? We can talk quietly. We can talk quietly. Thank God for autocorrect because I'm I'm holding guitar, trying to type. I can call after she is sleeping. All right, the baby is a girl. I can call after the baby is sleeping. Um, good grief, she's not sleeping yet. Let me see. What can I say? What can I say? 
You should cry on the phone. I know that's right. I cry on the phone. Wah, wah. Oh, come on. Yeah, the baby. I'm going to ask him if his wife can. Uh, he's, he's busy sacrificing the baby. Oh, my gosh. Um, let's see here. How long will that be? Can you just go in the other room? Room for a moment. Let's see here. Leave the children out of this. That's right. Sal, you're going to ask him what he's wearing next. Yes, indeed. Oh, we're going to have some fun with him. I'm out of tune. Cliff. Later, Cliff. Have a good one, Cliff. We're just chilling. Let's try to call one more scammer uh, since we can't get Alan Gold to answer the phone. Oh, wait. Oh, I got an answer. We got an answer back from the sky. Let's see what he says. Let's see what he says. Times vary. She's a baby and it's a process. If you can't wait, I understand. That's your call. Well, my call is trying to call you. A baby should be predictable. It's not a process with a baby. Babies are very predictable. You should know exactly what to do with babies. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I'm gonna. What should I tell to them? I should. I should have him sing to her. Uh, I should have him sing. Sing her a song. Sing her. Uh, let's see here. Sing her a lullaby. That will help I have some ideas let's see here Let me get back here give the, <laughs> give her some NyQuil there you go <laughs> give the baby some NyQuil or a Sleeping pills or something. Yeah, exactly. Give the baby, I said, daughter, give the baby a sedative. <laughs> Sing a song of sixpence. Sixpence, none the richer, right? In the meantime, we have, the, have other scammers here that have, uh, in my email inbox, we're going to call, let's try to call Flexibility Capital at some times. Now, that are not in New York. And this is an 800 number, which means more than likely it's going to, just go to voicemail, but let's see here. Pass the blunt to the runt. Oh my God. Thank you for calling Flexibility Capital, a true partner in your vision. If you know your party's four-digit extension, please dial it at any time. To speak to a funding specialist, please dial one. If you're a broker, please press two. We dial oh, one. Sorry, that's not a valid extension. Well, that was please one. Please try again. You said dial one, Thank I Thank you for calling Flexibility Capital, a true partner in your vision. If you know your party's four-digit extension, please dial it at any time. To speak to a funding specialist, please dial one. Okay. If you're a broker, please press two right, for renew. Two. Please hold while I try okay, that extension. Never get that B right. Flex 
sensibility. They get it on their knees. That's right. Exactly. Mike Peeler. Mike. 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 Mike Taylor. Uh, flexibility Capital was trying to get a hold of somebody for a loan. I pressed one, but it said it was the wrong thing. So I'm calling you, Mike Taylor. Please call me back and uh, be flexible about it. Thanks. Let's try one more time. We'll try to find another place to get through. Hmm. Thank you for calling Flexibility Capital, a true partner in your vision. If you know your party's four-digit extension, please dial it at any time. To speak to a funding specialist, please dial 1. If you're a broker, please press 2. For renewals, please press 3. Let's try 3. Please hold while I try that extension. There we go. Well, that's Mike Peeler. Mike Taylor again? Mike Taylor again? You're with the other place? I'm trying to get a hold of a broker. I mean, a funding specialist. Help me. They're not in. Let's try to summon the scammer. Let's try Matt again from Cali. Going back to Cali. This is going to be our whole music, but hopefully we can get to some other some other status. Let's give this a call. Thank you for calling. If you know your party's extension, oh. you may dial it at any time. For the operator, press zero. For the dial button, thank you for calling Maine. We are currently closed. What? At the tone, please leave a message. When you finish recording, you may hang up or press the pound key. Dang it, they're closed. Nothing in your family tree. Let me try to call this guy back. Let me try to call this scammer back. These loan scammers, and they're putting their babies to bed. This is not good. And then we're going to probably uh, kick you guys to the curb here after this. And my guitar. Can't get my guitar in tune. Hello, Kung Fuzi. Forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Five one six three zero five one one nine eight is not available. One more time, one more time. Then forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Five, one, six, three, zero, five, one, one, nine, eight is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. All right, he's asking me if this is a number. Also, that you is calling repeated. That is calling repeated. Is this 202 numbers also you that is calling repeated me? I should say no, it's somebody else. What's this number, Bob Often? We might try to call that one. Who is that? Let's see here. My associate, please answer. All right, what is that number, Bob Often? We don't want to just call random numbers out of the... Needle man saying goodnight. 
So um, maybe that's time for me to say goodnight, too. All right, let's see here. Let me try him. I said to please answer. We'll try one more time. We'll try to call this guy. Baby, baby, baby. Let's see here. All right. Not looking for Norman. He's not at home. Norman's not at home. Night, Meteor Man. Thank you, Chicken Slacks. I appreciate you. Thank you. Your feedback is always worth its weight in silver. Well, thank you, Chicken Slacks. Silver's down now, but flexibility capital real numbers. Okay. All right, there might be several flexibility capitals out there, but yes, indeed. We'll try that one. Let's try that one, Bob, real quick here. Let's try this. Okay. A flex capital. That's different. Thank you for calling Flexibility Capital, oh, no, a true partner in your vision. If you know your party's four-digit extension, please dial it at any time. To speak to a funding specialist, please dial 1. If you're... I am sorry. That's not a valid extension. Please try again. Please hold. Mike Taylor. Yeah. Mike, we need you to answer the phone. Ah, uh, Mike, killing me, small. All right, where are we at? Okay, let's see now. All right, he's he's texted back. The guy's texted back. He says, "Okay, I thought my myself clear. Please advise him that this isn't going to work since you're unable to respect the fact that I'm putting my baby to sleep." Oh my goodness! He tells me. So he said that that I should respect. Although these scammers never respect when they call private cell phones, do they? Um. Boy, oh my gosh. He says that you should have had ample time to put the baby down. <laughs> baby to sleep. Please answer. It won't take long. Here we go. All right, here we go. All right, we're going to try to get, we're going to try to get, we're going to try to him again. We're going to try this guy again. All right, let's see here. You were breastfeeding your baby when he called you. There you go. I was breastfeeding my baby. Breastfeeding my baby back ribs. We're done. Oh, he says, he says, we're Call done. has been forwarded to we're an done. automated voice messaging system. Five, one, six, okay, here we go. We'll three, leave a message for zero, this time. five, one, one, here we go. nine, eight is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Johnny, we're wanting to talk to you, Johnny. Yes, John, this is Travis. I need funding for my business. You just said to my associate, we're done here. That's not a way to operate a business. I was going to give you some advice on how to put the baby to bed. You know what I mean? Because I know how to soothe uh, babies with colic, you know, or colonic or whatever you want to call it. I know how to do it. I can soothe the savage beast of a crying baby. You just give me a chance, Mike. I mean, John. So let's do business together. Let's make this happen. I can give you bank statements. We can talk. We can make it happen. So we're going to try to call you back here. 
and I hope you answer, and I will give you some advice. I know how to put babies to sleep. I really do. I'm good at that. I can, I can soothe a crying baby. Listen to this. I can even write a little lullaby. So you can just play her that guitar thing, and that'll have her go to sleep. You know what I mean? All right? So I'll call you back. So he says, he says here, he says, we're done here. I said, that's not, I'm going to say that's not an option. That is not an option. That is not an option. Call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Five, one, six, three. I'm going to try to call him back on my phone. Your call has been forwarded to an automated. <laughs> I think we've we've probably this uh probably there's no way that he will do business with me probably at this point. Let's see here. Let's see here. Now I'm gonna leave him a little lesson there. Leave him a little lesson. <laughs> it's been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Five one six three zero five one one nine eight is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you finish recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Now, John, think about this. Whenever you call people during the daytime at your job. And here you have a baby, John. You have a baby. You know what I mean? I presume you might have a wife, maybe. But even if you don't, you've got a family there. And you're wasting people's time being a loan scammer out there, John. Think about that for a minute, John. Think about it hard. Think about your career choices in life. Being a loan scammer, calling people out of the blue every day, and then being stupid enough to give people your cell phone numbers, and then not answering. That's right. You're a certified Class A loan scammer. Rethink your life, John. Rethink your life. See ya. There we go. Give him a little bit. All right. There we go. Sometimes, sometimes you just gotta just. You got it. You got to just give them. You got to give them what for these loan scammers. Sometimes you got to cut to the chase. I'm going to tell him in the text to too. shame him. Listen to your voicemails. And rethink your career choices. There we go. All right. All right, fellas and ladies. And uh, we're having a little bit of fun here. Appreciate it. John is rethinking, or rethinking his life. That's what he's doing. I hope so. These loan scammers. And uh, I tell you what. As much as I do it here, live for you guys, believe you me, I'm doing it even more um, when they call me during the day or whatever. One time, sometimes at my lunch, I, uh, I will call them back or take their calls and just mess with them like it's going out of style. You know, there's, it's become an epidemic. I don't know about in Canada, seduced by silver, but here in America, these robocalls and these scammers, they're calling all the time all the time and uh and so they deserve every inch every every bit of the uh of the trolling that we do they deserve because it has become an epidemic here in america and uh so all right now 
Sadly, if when they if they do, if the government does finally crack. Oh, here's one. Here's an Adam Mang with a cell number. Let's try. He's out of New York. Let's try to call. Let's try to call him real quick before we go here. <clears throat> Where are we at here? I mean, there's literally, literally, they they're just, they're just everywhere. And much of them call, you know, from from India and these credit card stuff like that. And they're the ones that uh, and they hang up really quickly because they know. Yeah, I'm addicted to to these scammers and these. And of course, they usually don't answer. Because see, they're probably getting these calls too. Knowing that they work with this is Adam Main, executive funding coordinator for Premium Merchant Funding. And this guy, they send emails. Nine, seven, nine, eight, three, three, two, seven is not available. Adam, the operator didn't say to leave a message. It just says you're not available, Adam. And then it beeped. What does that mean, Adam? Is that what it means, Adam? Let me know. See ya. All right. All right, everybody's. Very good. Well, we had a good time here. All right. Well, you guys, we've had a great time tonight. I appreciate you being here. A multitude of gratitude and all that jazz. Um, I'd like to um, wish you guys the best weekend, and we will talk to you tomorrow. Oh, wait a second. I got a reply to the text. No, I didn't. He didn't respond. He probably blocked my number. Let's see here. All right. Very good. Beat means speak. Speak. Okay, Pamela. Very good. All right, you guys. A wonderful evening. A multitude of gratitude to you all. And we will see you later. Bye.